Earth Signs, welcome back to the channel. It's me, OU, and I have a tarot card reading for you. Let's get into your messages today using the Everyday Witch Tarot. We also got the Oracles, the Moonologies, and the Romance Angels as well. Make sure you come in, like, share, subscribing, adding value to the channel so that we continue to grow. But let's see what energies are currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you. Let's see. Atmosphere is actually pretty great for the Earth Signs today. So much grain abundance, man. I'm guessing that water over the weekend really, uh, or even over yesterday, really did a... I'm wearing blue as well. What the heck? Uh, did um, wonders for the park. Mm -hmm. Now, channeling connections for whatever reason. Someone's trying to connect with you here. The earth signs? Yep, look at that. Jumpers. All right, being called to stop shuffling here jumpers four of wands someone wanting to have a relationship with you or make a connection with you this would be the twin flame car but i'm not so sure i hate throwing that word around everyone wants to be soulmates nowadays but they can't even maintain friendships family uh family relationships that sort of thing marriages a soulmate or a twin flame union is deeper than a marriage or any type of business or um love contract that someone can try to put in your face this is soul union this is reconnecting bringing the masculine and the feminine back together so butterflies yeah someone's trying to communicate with you here could possibly be going through some sort of a transformational period look at this ace of cups someone's trying to get your attention like i said there's attraction going on here so for the taurus the capricorn and the virgo pay very close attention to the people around you here <laughs> you have romantic attraction surrounding you at this time where this is the energy that you're exuding eight of wands yeah people are going to come traveling towards you very fast not just one not just two but a whole bunch of people and they're sexually attracted to you here they're wanting to partake in your energy they could view you as a very busy individual a very artistic and loving individual as well the devil card capricorn this is business this is a ceo a leader a boss a supervisor they could be viewing you this way Someone that is very stern, someone that is very practical, someone that works a lot or very uh, obsessive. Again, no one likes their supervisor, yet the supervisor is the whole, or the boss is the person that pretty much helps the business or the company run, right? Huh. The devil also uh, represents uh, obsession, temptation, that sort of thing, the seven deadly sins. You over if you partake in too much devil energy that is uh very toxic mm -hmm. so again too much of anything is a bad thing too much love is codependency <laughs> we have temperance Ooh. now isn't that right on cue uh it is well known throughout the tarot community that the uh temperance the earth angel sagittarius usurps devil energy so this is possibly some sort of, this could possibly be some sort of a twin flame union this would be a karmic re, uh this would be a karmic relationship but the karmic energy is being removed twin flames 11 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The divine masculine shows up here. Yeah, this is a twin flame union here. Someone's about to get ready to come into union with their divine counterpart here. There's a lot of there's already three major arcana: the devil, the temperance, and the divine masculine, which would be Aries, an action starter, a leader, boss, CEO. Like I said, someone can own a business here, or they could be um, looking to do so, start some sort of a creative journey. Again, you, the whole, ooh, love bugs. Yo, yo, love bugs just flew right on top of my camera. Can you see it? Or them? Again, I don't lie. At this point, I don't even have to pull cards, but for the whole aesthetics of it. You know, we have people out there that want to see these things. And I like the art, man. I'm an, I'm an, I'm an, uh, an art collector. So I'll be uh, collecting tarot decks throughout my life, if not creating my own. But yeah, we got the love bugs with the love connection. Definitely union I see here. The world card. 
this is travel, this is success, this is the world wide web and the internet. Um, hmm. I also get union every now and then from uh, the world card. It comes actually right on top of four of wands. So you have people from all over wanting to partake in your energy. So you could probably be some sort of a leader, uh, some sort of a content creator as well. The divine masculine, a boss. You probably own some sort of a business, possibly a storefront. You could be also some sort of a spiritual leader. I would bring up religion. What's the difference between spirituality and religion? Well, um, religion is an indoctrination. Is an indoctrination. Not that I'm saying that there's anything wrong with that, because when you start a new job, they they indoctrinate you into that company's religion, even a culture. You're indoctrinated. You're you be you have been indoctrinated. What's up, man? You have been indoctrinated into some. Goes the crow. <laughs> All right. The love bugs haven't moved yet, so I'm guessing they're going to be here until the reading's over. Lost my train of thought, though, but yeah, we have the world wanting to connect with you here. So, again, if this isn't someone watching you on a peripheral device, the World Wide Web, the Internet. <laughs> hmm. They're wanting, to, they're, wanting, they're wanting to get some sort of a close proximity to you here. Yeah. They're wanting to shorten the distance here. Oh, are you going to be brave enough to come walking over here, huh? <laughs> okay. Queen of Swords, Libra. Ooh, which would be the Divine Feminine. But she's not showing up here. Someone's shy, man. Ace of Cups is still grounding the reading. Of course, I haven't reshuffled. But we have the Divine Masculine. And then um, as I'm pulling more cards on top of the Eight of Wands, which typically... Um, no, nah, I'm not going to say that. Queen of Swords, though, this is Libra. Someone could be sitting back and trying to make some sort of a concession, maybe balancing out their options here. Or they're researching you here. I wouldn't necessarily say spying. This is an immature activity. Page of Swords, they're researching you here. This could be a vetting process. Yo, this bird is hella comfortable right now. <laughs> like, what the heck? All right. Page of Swords, exactly. See this guy with this cat right next to him? This is literally me right now, right now with a black bird right next to me. What's up? Are you going to speak? Oh, he flew off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, ironically, right after I said this doesn't feel like any immature energy that they're researching you. And um, it's an investigation, man. They're, they're vetting you hard. Queen of Swords and then Page of Swords. <laughs> Again, before there was an internet... <laughs> women had the internet these these women it could be a woman in america connecting with a woman all the way in china somewhere to tell her about a man that she came across <laughs> obsessive energy right <laughs> is there um a man's version of that mariah carey obsessed song i was chanting a lot of tory lanes today uh say it uh, B I D. Um, icy dicey let's see what else do we have oh uh, let me blow your mind uh, Gwen Stefani and Eve magician they're manifesting they're manifesting a relationship or they're man manifesting what could be some sort of a possibility that they want actually it looks like they're wanting to man yeah they're wanting to manifest balance here they're wanting to close out some sort of a cycle they've learned uh, lessons in love who was that is that Ryan Leslie? Lessons in Love. Who is that? Is that Lloyd? It's not Trey Songs. Yeah. Uh, maybe listen to some Ryan Leslie here to get your romantic confidence up here to come towards this person, or this is what they're doing to come towards you. They're trying to get their confidence up here. The Hermit. <laughs> yeah. There's. It's a ritual. Yeah. Or affirmations, self-affirmations, that sort of thing. Again, the weird thing about writing a book, uh, people don't think about it, though. <laughs> In the process of writing a book, you literally have to talk to yourself. Or think to yourself, or whatever the case may be. Some people talk or whisper to themselves as they read, you know. Just like some people do like this when they're counting. You know, it's just their way that they do things here. Now, you could be some sort of a storyteller or some sort of a guru, some sort of a hermited guru, or you're focused on health. Could be dealing with a Virgo. 
but they're definitely watching you though they're, they're watching you do your thing though they're watching you tell stories comes right on top of the emperor here yeah spectating or evaluating the emperor mm -hmm. what else do we have three of pentacles Again, more wanting to partake in your energy, wanting to collaborate. This could be some sort of a business collaboration. Of course, we look at marriage as a business. Doesn't mean that there's a lack of romance. I mean, in order to be a salesman, people have to like you. Advertisement. Uh, what else? Knight of Wands. A very headstrong adventure here. We could be dealing with a, uh, an, a mild ex expressionist artist. Okay. Okay. That's an interest. That's word salad right there all day. Like that came straight from spirit. Okay. Okay. Uh, some sort of a sex art as well. Like a naked painting or something like that. Or this person's dreaming about you or daydreaming about you naked. Now, this is something that artists have to do when people are dealing with shyness or when they're dealing with. Uh, oh, I always forget it. Um, like a false celebrity. Uh, people's number one uh, fear in the world is speech. So they would get on stage and they would picture the crowd of people in front of them as either uh, pigs or naked or naked pigs. <laughs> Let's finish up your reading here. Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options here. Or they view you as having a lot of romantic options here. They view you as very mysterious as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There's that uh, religious pharaoh, uh, fellow. The Hierophant. So we have both spirituality and religion at one, uh, at the same at the same time. So you both can uh, embody this. Or one of you embodies spiritualism. One of you uh, embodies uh, religion. Which, you know... Science and religion are both explain each other, but it's the uh, people act like it's so different. So again, opposites attract, but they're not really opposites. A man and a woman coming into union against soulmates, twin flames. It's the soul coming in, coming into unison with each other, and it's not that hard. You don't have to fight that hard. Just do your thing, and you're gonna attract the right people to you. You don't have to put on or clout chase. That's where everyone's getting in mixed up. <laughs> The difference between wanting and needing. Three of Cups celebration partying. This could be some sort of a work gathering or this could be some sort of a mild break here. She's taking a break here, the hermit. It could be like a happy hour drinks or something like that or yeah, post-work celebration because the emperor is here, the boss. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go ahead and pull... Um, your oracles but i'm gonna go ahead and see what major arcanas we have a lot coming up here so this is a major life change or a major event that's coming towards you here this people get very anxious uh very uh anxiety driven when a new highlighted moment is coming towards them yeah ace of cups love makes people anxious an an anxious what the hell all right someone's in my energy it's cool it's cool Queen of Swords. Mm, I don't see a lot here. Page of Swords, Queen of Swords. Hmm. There's a lot of thoughtful creativity and passions here. I'm getting a word salad. Yeah, some sort of a poetry, maybe motivational speaker, could be a musician. I don't see dancing here. It could be exploration though. But the major arcanas, six major arcanas, so some sort of a victorious moment coming towards you or a successful relationship, partnership, or business opportunities coming towards you here. We have the devil, which is the boss, which is the CEO, which a person who does whatever they have to to get to the top, regardless of wh what people think or how they feel about them. Again, devilish energy. You think, you think you're an angel. You, you think you don't have a lot in common with the devil. <laughs> The devil walked to and from the earth. That's how he got so much knowledge and got so much talent. The morning star. Lucifer morning star. But again, you think you don't have a lot in common with this individual here. 
with this devil character or with this Capricorn energy here. But what do people do? They wake up again. Men wake up with hard ons sex. <laughs> people uh, hurry up and get to work in the morning so that they can make money. The love of money is the root of all evil. They use that money to partake in sex, drugs, and alcohol as well. Don't overdo it. You know, work hard, play hard. The Capricorn mantra. Uh, temperance here. Yeah, exactly. Showing balance in this situation here. Could be dealing with an earth angel. Sagittarius energy here. The Hierophant. The religious one. <laughs> a religious leader. Someone anointed and appointed. Again, some sort of a boss. Head BIC, possibly. Some sort of a guru or a teacher. A self-starter is also what I'm getting here with the magician. They manifest their own destiny. They make their own luck. As above, so below. As within, so without. The divine masculine who's a attempting to attract the divine feminine. Maybe she's already here. She just needs to step into her full authentic potential and authority here. Aries energy. Another boss. <laughs> this is a good boss. The hermit. Going within yourself, evaluating your spirituality and your religion, <laughs> picking and choosing which one you want to partake in, or combining them. Could be dealing with a philosopher as well, that's what I'm getting. Okay. But positivity here is you have a lot of great art coming towards you, or you exude a lot of artistic talent and potential here, a gift from the universe. Again, possibly some sort of a twin flame union is what I'm really picking up, a love relationship. Now let's get to your Moonologies and your Romance Angels. First we'll pull the Moonologies here. Post Libra Pink Full Moon, which deals in relationships. Uh, both business and love. Also peace. Balance, calmness, unison. Let's see. Oracle messages. For the Earth sign spirit. Car um, Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, what are the messages for Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo? You actually showed up in your reading today with the Capricorn, the Virgo, and the Hierophant, Taurus. So yeah, you're standing in your divine energy at this time. Yeah, you're on point. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah. So you're almost in perfect harmony at this time. Again, you're about to come into union, perfect harmony with your divine counterpart here. The divine masculine, the Aries. Let's see. Ooh, full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in the way. That would be overconfidence and arrogance. That could be a turnoff for some people. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Could be dreaming about this individual, fetishing or fantasizing about this individual as well. Look, yeah, look, the eyes are so dreamy here on this lion. You never seen the lion look so soft, <laughs> except for in the movie Lion King when uh, Simba and Nala reunited as adults. <laughs> Can you feel the love tonight? It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Take action towards your desires. Take action towards, um, again, your dreams need a practical plan. So you're going to be um, heading down the yellow brick road here is what I'm getting. Nothing is yet set in stone. And remember all the characters, um, like the Power Rangers, they're twin flames. They're soulmates. Like the characters in um, the Wizard of Oz, they're soulmates. You know, the Tin Man, the Lion, all of them. Dorothy. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable Moon. Yeah, you didn't think about it that way, huh? Twin flames are people that are meant to change the world or provide a different perspective and guide the world into a better situation here. Sort of like the Power Rangers. They were <laughs> intergalactic teenagers, you know. <laughs> they dealt with love and all that sort of thing, you know. I'm not sure why I brought Power Rangers into this reading. I must be talking to someone young. Uh, show the world the real you. Yeah, bringing healing to the world, Aquarius. The scientific method. The water bearer. Life. Possibly a virgin. Aquarius does symbolize the star card and hope. The future. Again, the yellow brick road. A long path laid out in front of you here. Someone has their sights set on you here, man. 
Let's see. Finally, we're going to get to your romance angels. See what your connections are bringing in, in your romantic relationships and what have you. Your connections, your networks. Possibly even what this uh, divine um, counterpart is thinking about you. Congratulations, by the way. Don't fuck it up. Let's see. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> exactly. Comes around once in a lifetime. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is... If I was to sum it up, I mean, we have all these fancy gurus out there that call that call themselves twin flame coaches and all this shit. They watch my content and they steal my ideas and they think I don't know. But hey, uh, I'm not the creator of all here. We have uh, love yourself first in order to again, you can't don't be codependent. Don't beg for love from someone. Love yourself first. And when people see how well you take care of yourself and how much you love yourself, you know, your boundaries, your all this type of stuff. These, this is how you bring in people that are meant for you. And again, if you're walking in your truest divine potential, you're going to attract divine people. If you hang, you, you hanging around the hood all day, gang banging, drinking Hennessy, and all, th this is what you're going to attract. Karmic relationships, struggle, love, abusive people. Like a divine feminine or a divine masculine is not going to destroy your property because... They don't feel like you're like you giving them attention or they feel like you cheated. Like, what the heck? I don't got time for that. I'm just going to walk away because guess what? <laughs> I'm that abundant. <laughs> Again, we have options. <laughs> Let's see. This could be the one. And at the end of the day, we have to focus on our own potential than carrying the burdens of other karmics, codependent people. This could be the one, though, man. You're getting a lot of positive love messages here, uh, Earth Signs. You're about to come into union very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes now. Again, this is in regards to your boundaries, your structures, and the things that you set for yourself. You exhibit the love that you want people to bring towards you. Mm-mm-mm. Wedding. Whoa! Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised when I talk about the yellow brick road, right? Uh, the streets paved of gold in heaven. Uh, the wedding band is gold, right? Gold symbolizes conf confidence and prosperity. But yeah, true love. Love yourself first. This could be the one very soon and wedding. Yep. Man, I want to look at the pictures on this stuff now. Look how she's looking at him. <laughs> look how they're looking at each other, man. They can't get enough of each other, man. This is what real love looks like. This is what real love looks like. Mm-hmm. Like, share, comment, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>